As WRTV's Adam Schumes explains, city officials are urging visitors and residents alike to plan ahead. It's an event city leaders say they've been preparing for for quite some time, the solar eclipse. The biggest issue is going to be traffic. We think it's going to back up on the interstates, which eventually will spill into city streets. Officials are telling folks to plan ahead no matter where they go. IMPD says they'll even have officers on ATVs. Some of the ATVs will have some fuel on it in case someone runs out, but please don't rely on that. That even means those who are one of the 50,000 people expected to attend Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Officials say roughly 80% of the people who are coming have never been to the track. Please come prepared and please come patient. We want to make sure everyone gets into the facility safely. Over at Monsters Inc. in Irvington, owner Jess West is busy getting ready for her own Eclipse event. Out and about, be safe. I, I know there's probably a lot of people in town. West is planning an Eclipse party the day before. Filled with DJs, a place where she says people can get a history lesson and enjoy the historic day off. I really think that we should sort of become educated about what it's about. City says is expecting roughly 100,000 people from all over the world and can't stress this point enough. Get where you're going to get early, be prepared, stay there, and stay late. In Indianapolis, Adam Schumes, WRTV. City officials urge people to not pull over while driving to watch the event, saying that could be very dangerous. On Monday, you can experience the eclipse with us here at WRTV by watching WRTV. We'll be on from 2.30 to 3.30, which includes total darkness. We'll be live at IMS in Bloomington and other locations around central Indiana. You can watch both on air and online on Monday afternoon starting at 2.30.